What's going on everyone? It's me, Alex the Rambler here, and today we're back on, well it's Star Wars, the Executor Redux mod for Hearts of Iron 4. Now, uh, I have played the Imperial side of this before, but this one, this mod adds in a, a Rebel side. So we're going to be playing the Rebels today. Everyone's saying hi Matt, because of course they are. Matt's going to love sticking that on the front of the video. He hasn't had an opportunity to do that in a while. Okay, so what does this do? Well, uh, this mod, as you may know, uh, we have. I, we can either play as Germany, as all things. Why? Or we've got the Rebel Alliance or the Imperial Command. Of course, there's also Romania. Uh, but we're going as the Rebel Alliance in this time. The Alliance to Restore the Republic, commonly known as the Rebel Alliance, seek to oppose the tyrannical reign of the Galactic Empire. Home One has crash landed on a foreign planet due to being sucked into the planet's gravity well while on a hyperspace jump and they are not alone. Their local inhabitants are about to begin their second and most deadly conflict in the history of their planet. The fate of the Rebellion is unknown. If you're new to the channel, why not leave a like, comment and subscribe if you're not because 50% of you aren't. And let's go. So we have a choice. So that's, that's where the, the Imperial Command lands. But we land smack dab in the middle of Africa. And we start off with no industry. We're stranded. The Rebellion has that. Uh, and then we're mainly Democrat. Tick. And we'll begin. Ah, here we go. The Rebel Alliance now features Luke, Leia as different leader paths with more focuses. With added key sections being continuing the Galactic Civil War. So, after an Alliance meeting... Featuring many of the prominent leaders of the Rebellion aboard, aboard Home 1. Catastrophe struck! What was supposed to be a many hour jump through hyperspace, Home 1 was suddenly latched into the gravity well of an unknown planet due to one of the main reactors failing. And that sent Home 1 crashing down onto the surface. Thankfully, due to the skill of the entire crew, we were able to use the remaining engines to move ourselves over land, narrowly escaping a watery grave and ending crashing into a vast forest. Okay, so uh, we've got various leaders like Leia, Han and Luke. The crew's all in disarray and a reconnaissance team has been assembled. And one of three re re rebellion heroes can choose to join the recon operation at a later date. Okay, interesting. Interesting. We do have Star Wars tech in this, which I do uh, quite like. We've got galactic technology, so we might as well do that. Increase our research speed. I mean, we don't have any industry at the moment, do we? So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking maybe we just go for support. Where... No, I can't stop myself from doing industrial focuses. They couldn't land in Bulgaria or America. No, nope, they landed in Africa. In Bajurumba. Bajurumba. And we have two million people living here, including the rebels. Home one crash site, what can this do for us? Seven days and we get six division. Whoa, that's large. That's a bigger boy. There we go. I repeat, this is not a drill. Man your stations. I do like role play mods like this. Now we could have Luke Skywalker. He becomes the leader. We've got uh, Leia or we've got Han. We're not gonna have Han. He's not going to lead us, so it's a, it's a choice between the twins here. Oh, look at that. Division Org plus 20%. Luke's going to lead the Rebellion. Luke, hero of the Rebellion and Jedi Knight. He's the biggest figurehead in the Alliance. Yes. The Jedi and Rebellion continue onward. There we go. He's achieved galactic infamy. Born on Tatooine. Or was he? Inspiring hope of one of Luke's great attributes, he instows morale among the common soldiers and has led many strike teams against key targets against the Empire. Let's survey the surroundings. We can see for miles and miles. Oh, we've got an honor guard. There we go. So let's have <gasps> Jan de Donna, a level six field marshal. Heck yeah. Everyone's on board home one. You've got Captain Rex, a level six general. Oh my God. God. So how many people can he lead? Oh, he's got four capacity. Ouch. You've got Admiral Akbar or General Akbar. We've got General Luke, who's a desert fox. Cassian's here. Isn't he dead? Lando's somehow here as well. Oh, General Medine as well. I'm not familiar with Pathfinder Lero or Pathfinder Kel that much. Oh, these would have all been Rogue One, right? These were all in Rogue One. Anyway, uh, let's have Luke. Let's just let's just stick Luke in charge. Survey results. Okay. Surviving medical staff are buried deep beneath work and relief effort. Let's limit active duty crew. Okay. So Luke, who's he gonna is he gonna help the civilians or help the rebels? We are of course gonna help the civilians in need. Uh, Cause it's Luke, isn't it? Well, he, I am a father. No, I am a Jedi like my father before me. Just call me Daddy or oh, oh, Daddy Luke. Help me, Daddy. Ah! Uh, shall we do a mystic monk to Earth and her citizens? What? <laughs> uh, 
I am a Jedi, like my father before me. Luke meditates and searches his feelings for a week. For a week. They're in crisis and he's like, don't worry guys, I'm going to meditate. Uh, I don't really care about the internal struggle. Let's meditate and focus on helping the common members of the rebellion. Um, let's help those in need. Give ourselves five factories. Bam. Yay, we can build things. Oh, we can repossess home one weapons for defense. Or we've got a temporary... Let's do the temporary rebel, ba blah, 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 rebel base. Until we can get home one up in the air. Oh, there we go. The Imperials have declared war on Iraq. Naughty boys. The Imperium looks like black mold. Yeah, I mean, it's a... Uh, oh, oh, Darth Vader is, under, is like a puppet of Tarkin. Huh, have all the resources. Well, that's... um. I'll take it. <laughs> okay. Wow, yeah, they're going for it. They are going for it. I'll keep doing that then. Repurposing Home 1. Yes. You get such a nice industry. Is this mod OP? Who knows? What do our division templates look like? Oh dear. Oh no. I can have stormtroopers. A rebel's purpose. There we are. What can be our purpose? Um, turning uh, to conquer. Conquer the... Con 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 conquer. Our purpose remains. It's within our duty as the rebellion to help all free people of the galaxy from tyranny. Okay. So then we're doing the rebellion. The rebellion's plan. Through trial and loss, we have rebuilt, repurposed, and recovered what we can. Okay. The rebellion's plan. I could either do short-term planning or long-term planning. I think we'll go for maybe the long-term planning. Not that construction really matters because we don't really... Oh. We've got to expand our base into something more permanent. There we go. Add an extra eight factories, as you do. Bloody hell. This is really nice and OP. Oh, here we go. Where are my X-Wings? There they are. Oh, I was hoping I was hoping they would have the uh, the actual models. That would have been funny. Why the heck would I want to increase relations with Belgium of all places? What? I could build turbo laser emplacements. Ooh. I really don't want to have, to have relations with Belgium, but I think I'm going to have to. Send 1,500 infantry equipment to support democratic Spain. Destroyer carbines. Ooh. Ah, f*** it. Let's just... Let's, let's, fine. Fine. There's a democratic colony run by the government of Belgium. Are they actually going to give me the Congo? I'd be surprised, but I'll certainly take it. Oh, did I get Rwanda? Oh. Oh, that's what we got. Kigali. I mean, that's another million people, I guess. I thought I was going to be getting this, but uh, yeah, we got a state. We got a new state. We have doubled our territory. Yeah, I guess I should look at it like that. <gasps> Mon Mothma. I loved her in Andor. Superior firepower as the rebels, maybe? Because we definitely can't do mass assault. Grand battle plan is also not really something. Mobile warfare. Yeah, it's going to be superior firepower. Luke Skywalker's command. Here we go. Bam. General Solo can offer close air support. Oh, I've got enough PP for a popular queen. Yes. As technology sharing program between the governments of England, Belgium and the Alliance heads forward, Luke Skywalker is instructed by the rebel high command to share his knowledge of British special forces. What? The British are more than thankful towards the Rebel Alliance and specifically the Jedi Knight. A Luke is awe-inspiring and are hard to keep secret due to his abilities with the Force. Okay. He's called a modern wizard. Continue gameplay. Very good. This is really interesting. I'm having fun. I'm having a good time. Let's do Rebel Alliance in Spain. Oh, that is actually going on. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's actually gift them some stuff. Oh, yeah, the Empire. Ooh. We've got Besh being led by Hawk. We've got uh, Warhill Tarkin, and then we've got Darth Vader just chilling. So we gave the um, <laughs> the democratic Spain uh, destroyer carbines. So there you go. Let's do the land exchange. The UK appears to be a prominent government located on this planet. <laughs> certainly not in the <laughs> certainly not the past few years. Oh, strong and stable. <laughs> hey, let's all go running through fields of wheat, shall we? That will help our economy. What did we get? Ooh. We got a port. We have a port. I repeat, we have a port. Uganda's independence. Yeah. Rebellion territory. Sure, I'll take Uganda. Give me. Give me it all. What? Oh, it changed the model away from the Star Wars one. I am unhappy. I am not amused. I find your lack of faith disturbing. We've got Uganda, everyone. I am growing. Rappy. Oh, I definitely want the extra research slot for 35 days. Go on, then. This is going almost swimmingly. Look at my manpower. I know. Everyone wants to fight for the rebels. The fight for free... Oh, yeah, I get 10%. Uh, what? I get 10%, yeah, for just being the Rebel Alliance. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I like that. I've got a choice between Rogue Squadron and the Millennium... Well, it's going to be the Millennium Falcon. In it. In it. There's so much to do. I just don't really know what to focus on. I will build better cities in Rwanda. 
I'll invest in the people, like the benevolent Luke Skywalker I am. We're not the jaded one from episode 8. We're the young, spiffing, gung-ho Luke. Belgium offers Stanleyville. We're getting more territory. We're getting more terri- Where, where's Stanleyville? Ooh! Give it all to me, and I will help- I will try and hold Belgium when Germany invades. How about that? I will send the entire Rebel Alliance to try and help. <laughs> I'm growing. I'm growing. Oh, Rebel Alliance in China. There we go. I can just aid everyone. I'm funding people's uh, fight against tyranny. Oh, yeah. I am going to make this part of Africa a utopia. There we go. All the infrastructure. How goes Spain? My laser rifles did not have much of an effect. Uh, yeah, they're still dying. <sighs> Maybe we'll help in China. Um, so yeah, apparently I'm sending uh, <laughs> all of my 10 divisions there. We're sending Luke. Just to f help the Japanese, apparently. Are we actually in the battle there? No. We are. Oh, well, no, we are. There's the honor guard. Yeah. We're not being moved from here. Yeah, my troops are quite a lot better than theirs. I wonder. Our troops are fine on defense. Not on attack, it seems. So we've lost 1,600 equ infantry equipment, but we've recovered 1,000. It's kind of okay if I get pushed back. These were never kind of meant to be uber... Uh, divisions. They're <laughs> coming up against laser weaponry. Yeah, <laughs> it's a bit baffling. What? Rations and mutinies. Here we go. Uh, not mutinies. Munition sites. Jeez Louise. I am uh, getting happy with how my divisions are performing. I would like more artillery though. Well, yeah, they're losing a lot of troops. We must have done something to them, right? It doesn't even seem like they've lost that much against us, you know? We'll just wait for our troops to get more uh, powerful, I think. Yeah, uh, <laughs> we have too much um, entrenchment here for them to push us. We have low supply, but overall, you can see our defense uh, is almost 500 when they're kind of coming at us with 100 offense. Like, it's it's really nice. Yeah, I'm really happy with our divisions. Look how much attrition the Japanese are starting to take now. It's fantastic news. Fantastic stuff. Defeat in Spain. But we get veterans of the Spanish Civil War, which means we get... Wow. Yeah, they're all just flooding to me. Woohoo! I wonder how many uh, troops they must have lost by now. Oh, now we... Yeah, there we go. There we go. New Yavin base. Here we go. Finally. At last. It's going to be renamed to New Yavin. Woohoo! Oh, look at that. A rebellion reborn. We get weekly manpower of a thousand. Wow, that's an extra 50,000 manpower a year. I wonder how many casualties the Japanese have taken now. Like, this is a lot. Wow. And all of this is just allowing me to get stronger and China to get stronger as time goes on. Alliance High Command. Yes, please. Look at all of this extra buffs and stuff. It's it's ridiculous. All right, let's 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 try and attack their airfield here to try and uh, help out our troops. We're over the bridge. Come on. Oh, we moved in. Oh. 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 <laughs> Okay, that was, uh, I got a bit excited there. Nice. There we go, we took Beijing back. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna go ham, I think, on the Japanese now, while we've still got a bit of time left. Now I've done all of this. Like, this is just... I'm gonna have to take a look at my bonuses. Uh, we've got Rebel Supply Logistics, we've got the Rebel Army. Look at that. Look at the Equipment and Capture Radio Modifier- Look! That's why I'm capturing so much, because of that stat. That's bonkers. New Yavin base, look at that. Auxiliary systems, veterans of the Spanish War, turbo laser batteries. Oh my goodness me, static AA. Future utopia of Africa. Luke Skywalker's command. Oh, okay, there are so many buffs for this. Oh, sorry. In fact, just go aggressive, man. Oh, could you imagine if we could actually push up far enough up here to capitulate them? I can't believe how devastating our... 10 volunteers were. Just look! Look at how far we can just push with one little <laughs> We've pushed back into Manchuko. God, rebels are fun. And of course I'm going to produce motorized rocket artillery and stick them in our divisions as well. I love creating a complete mess of divisions. It's very easy to... I, well, it's not easy. It's very um, expected to always play the meta, right? I love just going against the grain and trying to find my own little strategies even if they don't work like it's just fun right keeps the game interesting for, for for me at least oh my goodness am i one tile away from a big old encirclement you're goddamn right in the words of walter <laughs> so i think we capitulated manchu uh manchuria oh manguko yeah we've capitulated manguko <laughs> oh they're all encircled ah they came from 
behind. Oh no. I think China's probably got this. I'm gonna switch my uh, line over to here and then try and push up while we still can. At the me at the same time, let's try and recruit some more rebel troopers to try and hold Belgium from Germany because I, I probably will join the allies uh, once Poland breaks out. Oh, they're going for it. Yeah, he's going for it. Ah, unfortunately we need to switch targets. So can I join your faction, please? Oh, come on. I'm just going to try and go and try and mess up there. I don't need to get involved in World War II straight away. We can keep building up our power. Um, I mean, look at what we're doing. I am probably going to capitulate, Manchukuo. Uh, our doctrine is now complete. And I'm going to send uh, volunteers to try and help hold France. <laughs> Who's going to lead the... Uh, uh, should we send uh, Akbar? We're getting shot down. Absolutely obliterated. Belgium's capitulated. Oh god. Come on, get the volunteers to arrive. Ooh. I think we've arrived too late. Too late! It's Jova, in the words of a... Uh... Oh god. Oh god! How did they get to Paris so quick? You've got to hold Paris, guys. Like, I wasn't able to get there and, like, entrench my troops and stuff in time. Look at that. We're holding the line. We've given the French some aid. Division defense on core territory. Like, I just wasn't... We weren't expecting this kind of blitzkrieg. Oh, God! My, my troops are going to get encircled in Paris! Okay, I'm retreating to Brest. Let's get our let's get our troops out of there. Like, it's... Uh, it's happening too quick. We can't stop this. It's time to abandon ship. Yeah. Well, there go my volunteers. Did they all die? They are going to get returned, right? Oh, thank God. Well, in the meantime, I'm just going to keep on f***ing up Japan. Oh, they unencircled themselves, did they? Oh, China. Okay, I give up. I'm just going to leave. Oh, actually, I'm just going to go and uh, destroy them down here instead. I think that might be fun. Oh, there goes Denmark. Hold on. No! Oh, some rebels are going to get Oh, some rebels died. No, Luke abandoned them. We'll take revenge. Imperials have declared war on Iran. And Turkey. Okay, getting a bit scared by the Empire now. Not gonna lie. Go on, Luke. Luke, be a Jedi tonight. Well, I think we just um, destroyed a whole other bunch of them. But they've ta retaken Beijing. I can't believe I'm doing all of this. This is just endless, endless wars in China. What? Oh! The Imperials have declared war on Germany too. Okay, I'm ready to mess them up again. How many casualties have Japan taken now? 1.59 million. Wow. Let's take back Beijing again. Surely, like, Japan's got to run out of steam at some point. Okay, everything's just... Everything's gone to poop. Iran's capitulated. I can prepare for the Empire now. I'm going to have to do that. I'm not sure I'm ready though. They are almost bordering us too. Uh-oh. Leningrad's fallen. Excuse me? Oh, no. I am getting kind of bored of just um, holding off the Japanese, though. Probably try and kill them again. What do we reckon, chat? Because China's looking pretty tired, too, aren't they? Yeah, China's lost. China only has 50 divisions. After all I've been doing for you, you only have 50 divisions, China. But like they don't even deserve my help. Oh. Oh. Go on. Yes! <laughs> We've encircled Mengoku again. I'm really terrified of the Imperial High Command now. And the uh, the the Imperial High Command is, are actually bordering us. Oh. Well, Rex, you can defend our only port. Admiral Akbar, you can obviously get your troops like up against the Imperial Menace there. Time for the Imperial High Command to maybe die or we're going to die. Either way, it's time. Our volunteers are coming back. I, I, you know, I think I've done a good job helping China hold. I'm hoping... Oh, God, they're getting crushed, aren't they? Yeah, they're getting forced back on all sides by the Imperials. Oh, God. Oh, God! Let's see if our troops can hold this front and try and push them back. Yes? Imperial Romania capitulated. <gasps> okay, the Imperial High Command is... Uh, I think, suffering from a bit of attrition, we think. Let's see if we can push the Imperials. But oh, look at that. Look at these rebel troopers against the blaster squadrons. Ah, oh, they have stormtroopers. Okay, we're taking it to the Imperials. Yes. We're going to overwhelm them. We're going <laughs> to overwhelm them. Italy, give me military access. I'll sort this out. Fear not, population of the world. I... Luke Skywalker, I'm here as your saviour. Bow down before me. Okay, 
so they have no fighters at all. <laughs> We're getting some cast damage in with our Y-Wings. They weren't expecting to stumble across the rebel base. Now you will die. Well, how about we just uh, naval invade Aiden with Luke? <laughs> I hope I can naval invade, right? I don't have the tech! I don't have the tech! We need the naval invasion tech. Sacre blur. Where is it? Come to me. So we have a stalemate on the line. And it looks like the stormtroopers are probably going to try and push through. But I don't think they'll be able to. Oh, look at the defense we have in our divisions. You're no match for Admiral Akbar. How do they have supply? How do they have supply in that region? They actually have a lot of troops. I think it's mainly blasters though. Oh, they are sticking in other... Yeah, it's mainly blaster squadrons. And I think we're going to get forced back a little bit. So I need to open more fronts. Maybe if I try and take their uh, supply areas. Are our troops here? Oh, wow. We have, no, we have no supply. What am I doing here? What am I doing here? Go on. Go on. Take it. Take it. Take it. Well. Hold on. <laughs> I've intercepted 55 freight convoys. We are moving. We are moving. You can see like... When I have everything, when I have superiority everywhere, we are just absolutely destroying their divisions. Look at you. You haven't even, you haven't even facing Darth Vader. Bring me Darth Vader. Okay, Luke. Force attack. Take Besh. It appears they forgot to get TIE fighters. So now I've taken command post Besh. What are they going to do? Oh, we almost took command post Besh. Command, the Besh, the Besh command post. Go on, take it. Please. Oh, yeah. We're getting ports. I repeat, we are getting ports. Stop advancing for now, Luke. We need a reinforcement. A reinforcement. Oh, God. I really wish I uh, didn't have you guys over here. Home 1 rebuilt. Here we go. Here we go. Home 1, also known as the Headquarters Frigate, was a modified uh, Home 1 type heavy star cruiser, famous for its role as Admiral Akbar's flagship. Yes, we've been fully repaired. How are my divisions this poggers? Look at that! Is that almost a thousand soft attack? <laughs> oh, mine has been rebuilt. And now we can stick it in orbit. <laughs> sure. Okay. Fun. Okay, yeah. We have a Mon Calamari cruiser just setting itself up. We're getting close to the Imperial headquarters, you know. That's where the downed uh, Super Star Destroyer is based. Imperial Command is justifying against us. Oh, dear. Whatever will I do? Are we actually taking their resources at the moment? Oh yes, we're seizing their resources too. And because they want to be at war with the whole world, they're going to really struggle to replace that. And what is the combat width of our... Oh, look at this weird combo. We have like 300 soft attack, only 36 hard attack. But our defense, our breakthrough's 100 without any tanks, which I think is quite nice. Yeah, they're all... they're all doing good. I mean, they can't even man the whole area with enough troops to hold. Oh, we just demolished them! Luke Skywalker... He's advancing on the executor himself. Go on, Luke. Luke, be our Jedi tonight. Just be our Jedi tonight. We're taking the executor and killing all the stormtroopers. We've actually seized the Imperial crash site. What is happening? I bet the rebels themselves can't believe this. Let's just uh, encircle a bunch of space marines. Space marines? Stormtroopers. Wah! Uh, the Imperial elite, my ass. I have a finely honed and trained rebel army. They're not used to seeing this. Luke is at his full power. We're closing in on command po- We're defeat- Well, oh, we're gonna defeat Darth Vader. Hey, daddy. I'm coming for you. There he is. Oh, we've taken out Darth Vader. <sighs> no! <laughs> they collapsed. I can't believe how quickly they've just collapsed. <laughs> and then we just came from- We came from behind. How are the rebels capable of such an offensive? We don't know, sir. We don't know. There we go. We've got the supply in Cairo now. We've seized the supply. Now if uh, I could take the area around here, crush them, boil them, mash them, stick them in a stew. They're just stormtroopers, right? They have no conscience. They believe us to be weak and meek today. We show the Empire our true strength. Oh, I'm stretching myself a bit there. They're encircled at Alamein. I guess we'll start the offensive to kind of fully push them out over here. And then we're coming in from the south as well. Victory! <laughs> yeah! Alright. Uh, well, I'm definitely seizing... 
that. I'll take as much as I can, obviously, in the peace deal. I, I would like some territory. I'm sorry. They all cancel their non-aggression pack. Now I save them all, then they're like, actually, no, we don't like you. Who is this? Tarkin was allowed to live. But what else is there to do? You could either go to the Old Republic, the New Republic, and then you've got all of this. And huh. Well, we defeated the Empire. So that's where I'm going to leave it for today. So if you did enjoy the video, comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, if you've enjoyed it enough that you want to leave a uh, a super chat as a way of showing support for the channel, if you thought this was worth a dollar of entertainment, please feel free to consider that too. No worries if you don't want to. But until next time, everyone, ta-da! Many thanks to the cult leaders, Amazon fulfillment strategist Detail, Dr. Fotzka, Jack Troku, and Dylan. And thank you to the Patreon champions, Chancellor64, Haigu, Ian Clark, Jiggly Crotch, Kim Eric Carlson, Logan Whaley, Marco Yankovic, Rick Baller, Vash, Wyatt Green, Zachariah Mosby, and Maximilian Foreman. And many thanks to all the other patrons too. You really do help keep the channel going. Thank you. Ta-da!